What is up everybody and welcome back to A to Z Geek. My name is Nick and it has been a long time since I have done a video. A lot of things have changed in my life. I moved to another country. A lot of personal things went down. Maybe I'll go through that in, in another video, but uh, but for now we'll just say that a lot of things have changed. I'm ready to get back on the YouTube wagon. So I got a lot of new content coming. Uh, speaking of content, if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you would like me to do videos on, please let me know and I will make sure to do a video on it. I need more stuff to do. It's hard to come up with all that stuff on my own. So I rely on you guys, the subscribers, to tell me what you wanna see. But for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install some emulators and how to play GameCube games on the Wii. What is up guys and welcome to my desktop. As you can see, I am on a Mac, but this can be done on a PC. The steps are the same. So you're gonna need a few things before we keep going. And one is gonna be the SD card that you used when you soft modded your Wii originally. And if you're coming from my original soft modding guide video, your file structure should look exactly the same as mine. Second thing you're gonna need is a controller so you can play these GameCube games. If you're lucky enough to have a Wii with a GameCube port, then you should have some original GameCube controllers lying around, but you can also use the Wii controllers that plug directly into the Wii modes. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is navigate to this website. This is the complete soft modding guide for Nintendo. Thank you to the author for providing this for us. And if you're better at following written texts, this is gonna cover everything that we're gonna cover in this video. So you should head on over there and follow that instead if you're not, uh, if you're not into the whole video thing. First step we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, download the latest DOL. I'm gonna do that by right clicking and hitting save link as. And as you'll notice, it'll pop up and say loader. We're going to change that to boot.dol later, but for the purpose of this uh, video, we're going to go ahead and leave that at loader for now. And as you can see, I've go, I went ahead and made a folder called Wii, just to keep everything organized. So I'm going to save that in there. It should take only a few seconds to download. Second thing is we're going to go ahead and download this image. Click on save image as. And make sure this is .png. We're also going to save that in our Wii folder. And then the last step on this website is to copy all this text. We're going to open a text editor of choice. In my case, since I'm on a Mac, it's going to be text to edit. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to go ahead and paste everything in there. And then we're going to save that as meta.xml. And in my case, since I'm on a Mac, it's going to pop up a little error and say, hey, man, you can't do that. you got to use .rtf. If you are on a Mac, go ahead and hit .rtf. We'll fix that in just a moment. Now you can quit all that out, and we are done on the website. So now what you should be left with is a folder or several items, one of which is icon.png, loader.dol, and meta.xml. We're going to go ahead and change a few things in here just to make sure everything is looking good. We're going to redo this to meta.xml, and it will ask me for permission. Yes, use XML, and it will change the icon here. And then we're going to change this to boot. Dot .dol. Everything else should remain the same. Next thing we're going to do is create a new folder and we're going to name that Nintendo. And it should be exactly as you see here on the folder, all lowercase. Then we're going to take all the items here from our other folder and copy that over into our Nintendo folder. At this point what you're going to do is insert your SD card from your soft modded Wii should take a few seconds to pop up here and there it is and we're going to copy all the contents here into our apps folder as I said before if you're coming from my previous video on how to how to soft mod the Wii you should have a file structure that's similar to this one so you should have an apps folder I'm not going to go ahead and copy this because I've already done it but I'll show you that everything is uh, the way it should be so as you can see, I do have a Nintendo folder in here. It's got boot.dol, icon.png, and meta.xml. The titles and gcn.md5 text will be created when you run Nintendo for the first time. Now the last thing you're going to need is a GameCube game. Because if you want to play GameCube games, you've got to have a GameCube game. I'm not going to tell you how to get those, but a simple Google search of GameCube ISO should get you where you need to go. So go ahead and get yourself one of those games, whether it's through a disc or downloading it. 
wink, wink. And then, you're gonna, and then you're gonna make a folder on the root of your SD card. This means uh, basically the first thing that pops up when you open your SD card. You're gonna make a folder called games. And you might already have one of those in there, but if you don't, create that folder and then copy your ISO to that folder. And as you can see here, I've already done that. And that's gonna be it here on the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and eject that and I will see you on the Wii. All right, so here we are on our Wii. And by now you should have put your SD card in the Wii. And if you did follow my video from the previous soft mod, you should have a homebrew channel. So we're gonna go ahead and open the homebrew channel. And we're gonna hit start. Sorry if the audio is a little bit too loud. Still trying to figure out all this capture kind of stuff. And uh, when this opens, you should see Nintendo as one of your selections. So there are two ways to run Nintendo. You can run it inside of USB Loader GX, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and just run it as a standard deal here. So you're going to click on Nintendo, hit load. It's going to check all your storage devices here. And then it's going to pop up with a selection. And as you can see, you have two choices, SD or USB. If you are using a hard drive, you can do it the same way by uh, putting the hard drive folder or a games folder on the hard drive and then plugging your hard drive in the back. The one thing I must say for using a hard drive is you do need to make sure that your hard drive is fast enough. So uh, in my case, what was happening was I was using an older hard drive and it was uh, causing a disk read error every time I would try to play a, a game. And uh, all I really had to do was uh, switch to a cable that was thicker. I guess uh, more power means better or something. I don't know. Anyway, so but in this case, uh, since we put it on the SD card, we're going to go ahead and select the SD card. And when it pops up, you'll see uh, you have two selections. One is boot GameCube disk in the drive, which means uh, if you are using an original GameCube game, you uh, should be able to just insert that in the drive and then boot it from here. Um, but this is our Super Smash Brothers Melee that we entered into the computer. So you're going to go ahead and click on that and enjoy. It's going to take a few minutes to pop up here just because it has to go through some, uh, some stuff. Uh, you're going to get a choice for enabling progressive scan if you're on a uh, newer TV. Go ahead and Hit yes for that. Then it's going to ask you about a memory card. There are some ways to set up a memory card for that uh, on your external storage. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but uh, maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. So we're going to head, go ahead and skip that step. And here we are. Here is Super Smash Brothers Melee for the GameCube. I'll go ahead and skip all that because it's loud. <laughs> And I'll uh, just play a few seconds here just so you guys can see everything is working correctly. I don't really play this game, but I know it's a popular game, so uh, I don't know who to pick, but uh, we'll, we'll just pick Bowser. How about that? And as you can see, everything's working perfectly, except for the fact that I really suck at this game. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't suck that much. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can see everything is working the way it should be. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to the uh, home screen here. And this will take you back to the homebrew channel. As you can see, everything works, so if you want to add more games to it in the future, all you need to do is go ahead and put those ISOs in that game folder like I showed you uh, before. Now what we're going to do is go back to the computer and we will install Super Nintendo. Welcome back to my desktop. We're going to go ahead and uh, get SNES games onto the Wii now. So first thing we're going to do is navigate to this website. It is weebrew.org slash wiki slash SNES9X underscore GX. The link to that will be in the description if you're having trouble finding it. And all we're going to do is click on this download link. It's going to take you to this website. We're going to download the most current release. Noted by the thing that says latest release there, and that is a 4.37 at the time of filming this video. December 8, 2016. Today is Monday, June 4th, 
2018. Can assure you everything works perfectly. Probably why they haven't updated in a while. We're going to go ahead and download this SNES 9X zip. Save that file. That's it on the website. Then you're going to go ahead and uh, insert the SD card from your Wii. Take a few seconds to pop up there, and there it is. Uh, here's the file you just downloaded, the zip. We'll go ahead and extract that, then you can get rid of your zip file. And when we open this folder, you'll notice there's two things in here. One is an apps folder, one is an SNES 9XGX folder. Let's go ahead and open your SD card, and if you're following this from my previous video on how to soft mod, your file structure should be very similar to mine. So you should already have an apps folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the contents of this app folder from the zip we just downloaded into your apps folder. I'm not going to do that because I already have. And as you can see here, I have an SNES 9X GX folder already. Just for verifications, I will show you that there are very similar things in there. Settings.xml uh, file will be created when you run SNES 9X for the first time. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this SNES 9X GX folder to the root of our SD card. That's the very first thing that pops up when you open your SD card. As you notice, I have already done that. And what this folder is, is going to have all your cheats, your ROMs, and your save games in there. The other thing you're going to need for this is a ROM, of course, to play SNES games. Again, I can't tell you where to get those games. But if you put SNES ROMs into Google, I'm sure it will take you somewhere where you can find plenty of them. So once you have your ROMs, you're going to go ahead and copy your ROM to your ROMs folder. And as you can see here, I've downloaded and copied Contra 3 on there because Contra 3 is a badass game. And they will download as zip files. You can leave them in zip files. You do not have to extract those files. And that's it for the computer. So we're going to head back on over to the Wii and play us some Contra. All right, so here we are back on the Wii. And when this opens up, we're going to go ahead and uh, navigate to our homebrew channel. And if everything was installed correctly, once this loads, it should pop up with our SNES application. And there it is, SNES 9X GX. And if you follow the instructions properly, you should be able to load this. And when this opens up, you should have your ROM appear on this side. So you can use two kinds of controllers for this. You can either use your Wiimote, or uh, I like to use the classic remote that uh, is made for the Wii that you connect wirelessly through your Wiimote. <coughs> so I'm going to set my Wiimote down now and uh, play some Contra. So as you can see, everything works perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and play a little gameplay so you can make sure everything works the way it should. As you can see, everything works the way as it should. I'm not exactly that great at this game, but uh, I remember playing it as a kid, and it was a, a lot of fun. Gotta get that gun with the spread, baby. Watch out for the dog! Oh, I always get the dog. Anyway, so that is it. As you can see, everything is installed correctly. If you'd like to install uh, Sega Genesis or NES or any other emulator, the process is very similar. And uh, you should be able to get that done relatively easy. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, if this is your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm also looking to do a lot more content coming up, so if anyone has any recommendations on videos you'd like to see done, please let me know, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you again, guys, for watching, and I do want to apologize for my absentee for so, so long. I appreciate all the subscribers for hanging in there and sticking with me as long as you have. I promise to do more content. Uh, ideas are flowing. I got a lot more content planned. 
I do plan on uh, uploading uh, a few more videos in the coming uh, weeks or months. Uh, for now, I'm not going to go ahead and say that I'll do a video every Friday just because my schedule is a little different now. I do have a full-time job now as opposed to before when I was running my own business. Uh, again, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you have any comments, complaints, concerns, suggestions, anything, please leave them in the comments. And don't forget to like my video. It really helps me to make new content and uh, keep those ideas flowing. So thank you, geeks, and we'll see you on the next video.